What is going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer Duo well, here, welcoming you to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And in the last episode, we got our first freaking death. Uh, Rantaro freaking got destroyed, and I I'm scared. I don't know what in the world is gonna happen, but all we gotta do is investigate. Um. I don't know where or how we're gonna do this. I can't walk, so I just have to individually expect things. I guess the moving bookcase. What what is in the moving bookcase? The moving bookcase is closed right now, so it is hidden. All right, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way, you guys set up a secret sensor on the top of the bookshelf, uh, right? Okay. Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on the top of the moving bookcase. Remember, it's still here. I should have taken I should take it down now. It's code. Removing it is fine. You won't but won't you receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. You can turn it off. Okay. Yes. I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Receiver on Suichi or Suichi. Shuichi has been added to the monopad ah and we can't go check on right near the body okay yeah we can go okay that's another section i'm pretty sure i don't need to tell you this but shouldn't we investigate rantaro's uh, body um, yes if we find clues we have to but if it's too much for you Ka kayane you don't have to okay no it's fine i can do it my mind was set i had started walking towards rantaro's body The last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then that would mean that he would have came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved, but it doesn't add up. Are you okay? Are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess it's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake. We also can avenge him. And we have to protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey. Kayane, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am sort of a detective after all. Hey. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Uh, right. Bloody shot put. Yeah, okay, that, okay, I was right. It was a shot put ball. Okay. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... This shot put ball? Could it be? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the one from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. Hmm. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. That shot itself is heavy. Well, you would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Shot put ball has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Rantaro's body. Hmm. Um, I know we need to examine the body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Suiji showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head and it looks like it's a pretty deep wound it's consistent with blood force trauma i don't see any other injuries the monokuma file is indeed accurate this m must be the fatal wound um, um can we can trust the monokuma file uh, yes okay. for now shuichi then stuck his hand into rantaro's pocket huh? wait what are you doing uh, um... i'm checking what he has on his person there might be a clue if we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you, I would support you after all. H how can you be say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede. Pull yourself together. Hmm. Rantaro had his in his possession the key to this room, the student handbook, monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a key card on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Hmm. Then Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So, with that, we now know that it is most likely, po or that it is the most likely possibility. 
Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Rantaro's belongings has been added to the truth bullets section of your monopod. Are you okay? Are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Hmm. Something's bothering, bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely that he was not the mastermind. What reason do you have for coming here? Uh, I'm guessing it had something to do with what Rantaro mentioned earlier. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be... Then is it possible he noticed the hidden door in the library like we did? Huh? What? Uh, um... He might have come here to th or come to the same conclusion that we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um... You mean he had the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. Uh... We could have worked together. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my own frustration. No. no, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede, but Rantaro didn't have anyone that he could trust. Hmm. That might have been. The only difference between him and me. As he said it, that he offered me his hand. I took his hand, but he firmly pulled, or he and he firmly pulled me to his feet. Remember, Kayede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Shuichi is right. We cannot give up until it is over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue this investigation. We have to find the mastermind. Glow, what is this? It's a mysterious glow, but I don't think it has anything to do with the incident. No, probably not. Okay. Does anybody have any information? That's the next question. I... Why did the culprit not step forward and didn't take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? What? Yeah. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it's odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. True, I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't just to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? E everyone! That is correct. That would explain why they would forgo sur the survival in, in their survivor, in, or s their survival in favor of a class trial. Um. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it is certainly plausible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing us all does seem a little like something the mastermind would do. Yeah. We cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. What else can we investigate here? Oh, whoa, we can look more. Okay. Air oh the air vent they came through the air vent what okay the vent is open i was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct hmm. and we kept we were and we were keeping watch in the classroom this le vent leads to i don't think the culprit came in or out through here yeah yeah that's true the library vent has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod Oh, the bookcases are in the thing. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. Mm. Nothing changed with the cameras that we set up. Remember. The books that you stacked haven't moved yeah. either. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from getting through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Stacked books has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Ryoma. <laughs> well... If you are the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh. Oh, I want to know sorry. too. I don't know. I'm sorry. I cannot say anything yet. Not cool. But there is someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No. There's got to be. Huh? Uh. Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of sus suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But... But, with the things the way that they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> and let me warn you, the way the world works is that those who speak wit 
the truth is easily or can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless, so be careful. That's true. The moving bookcase we already investigated. Near the body we went to. The moving ladder. The moving ladder I used to re reorganize the books on the top of the bookcase. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monotoma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave as part of it, and so is that strange music. Oh, perfect timing. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Okay. It was awful. I thought it would go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. That's a good point. Promotional video background music has been added to the monopad. Sumigi, good job. Honestly. Don't talk to me, croc or crotch itch. I'm fucking busy. Mew continued ignoring us while she fiddled with her con huh? with a controller. What is that controller for? Ah. Da da da. It's a prone. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt into your conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. If it was a prone, it would team up with the rest of the gangla or gangla gang lion alliance uh, to destroy humanity. I have no idea what she's talking about. Me neither. It's fine. Then. Wait a second. The controller is. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it, dick cheese! She laughed obnoxiously, pointing as and pointed her finger upward. Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma. It's a drone! I told you that's a drone! If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> Smart, though. We need that. Drafting a floor plan with photos? Mm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help the investigation. Out of my way. The only problem is, is I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Mm. You should be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch. I can't do shit about that, so just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Uh, shut up, you. My dress is way better than your nasty cow udders. <laughs> Damn! What did I do? Uh, udders, udders. Actually. You are a bit wimpy when someone else stands up to you, huh? <laughs> You're actually a, a complete wuss. Damn, Mew got absolutely fried. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. I should investigate a little bit more. The monitor. The time limit to start the killing game had almost expired. But then the countdown stopped and that obnoxious noise went away too. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit expired. Okay, that was nothing. We already checked the moving bookcase. Did we? I thought we talked to Shuichi already. Um. Hey, Kaede. Do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah, I remember. Oh, we didn't. Um. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own right. Uh, oh, we saw it close on its own, right? No one ever touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Is it on a timer? Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, he let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit. Oh, it closed on its own. Hmm. 
The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. I see. The bookcase has its own cl uh, has to close on its own. So once you go through the hidden door, moving bookcase has been added to the monopad. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door, uh. or oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It is certainly possible. Let's check on that now. Huh? Uh, how do we check on that? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Then... All right, let's see. We lean to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used, so that means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No. I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume that the mastermind did not go through the door. Um. So, the, the one who was moving the bookcase at the time was Rantaro himself? No. I can't say that for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance there's something else that was hiding here. The card reader dust has been added to the two-fold section. Well, I think that the mastermind is the culprit. Um. So, we need to find clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end this killing game that way, too. Missing some more things. The front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through that door before we discovered Rantaro's body. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaido and Tenko. Yeah. Yeah. We saw the moving bookcases close when we ran... Or, then we ran over. That's true. Yeah, we found Rantaro's body behind the bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's... When we see the pictures after the monocups develop them, that'll become clear. Uh... I guess all we can do is wait. There's some missing pieces. Rear sliding door. This is the rear door. This is the furthest door from the stairs, and it leads to the hallway. By the way, this is a sliding door. See? So it opens as you slide it. Uh, yeah, okay. I saw that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um, I can't say for sure until we get the pictures back from the monocups. Uh, You're right. We'll just have to wait. Um, okay, eh? I think we've investigated the entire library now. Um, but we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't even get closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those, but then again, we can't just stay and do nothing. So let's investigate what we can. Mm, Keep investigating. That's true. Yeah, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame uh, when Rantaro was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? Mm -hmm. The six people that went down to the basement with Rantaro? Kaido, Gonth or Gontha, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Hi Himiko? Let's talk to them first. Hmm. They should have gone to the game room along with Rantaro. Let's ask what happened there. Yeah. yeah, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. So none of these people were here, right? So game room... Maki. Um. Maki, you were in the game room when Rantaro was killed, right? Hey. What were you doing down here? Rantaro was with you, right? Hey. A am I a suspect? Uh. Oh, no. That's not what I meant. Hmm. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Because. Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with that time limit, so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? So trust no one, Kayede, or you'll lose it. Got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, and yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But, but why? 
were you all here in the first place. It was Kaido's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us all together. He said he should comfort Mon or we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. The seven people. Kaido, Gonsa, Gonsa Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rentaro. Why those seven? But, um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. Kaido thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to a 2 0 would be useful. But what about you, Maki? Why did you choose the ultimate caregiver? He looked up to me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. That's it? Jeez, that does sound like something Kaido would do, though. But it does. Honestly, it really does. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Beats me. Maybe Kaido figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence. Uh, um... And th what was Rentaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. But then he ex excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Kaido and Tenko went looking for him. And finished the meeting before time expired. Or, so we finished the meeting before time expired. Oh, no. So Rentaro left. Kaido and Tenko were the only two that were out. Uh-oh. That must have happened around. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Oh, well, never mind. The time, Your timing is perfect. You should join in our strategy meeting. Kayane is definitely welcome to join. Um. Then, did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Angie and Himiko and I were, were the only ones that stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Huh? Gonta was never with you guys. <sighs> Gonta did arrive, but when he left and locked... But then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Mm. He was in the AV room by himself? No. It's a suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um, what other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Maki's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. I can't leave yet. Oh. Sliding door. Oh, is this going to be, like, directly Shuichi. pinned to the library? Hey, Suichi, the AV room is that room in the back, right? Oh, it's a different room. Kayere, have you never been here before? Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. That's like a blatant lie. We literally walked into this game room at some point. We literally talked to Rantaro, it, or not Rantaro, um, Ryoma in this game room. But okay, definitely never been here before. Oh, a lot of them are in here. Okay. Wait, wait. Going to not murder anyone? Come on, man. I told you. Were you? We're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No, no, it's him, all right. He's got the face of a killer. No way. No, Judge Gonta by is outside. On inside, Gonta, gentlemen. Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Ah. Oh, well, hey there, Kayede. We're just trying to ask him. <laughs> eh. Just tell us that we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Mm -hmm. Or are you not not the culprit? Are you not not the culprit? Huh? Gone to not not know. Uh, uh, it's just been this over and over. We can't get, move forward at all. I think your questions are the problem. <sighs> then I'll change my question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one mm. apple. That's totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math homework. You know? Hey, Gonta. I talked to Maki earlier. Were you in the basement AV room alone the whole time? You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Mm. But what were you doing here alone? Um. Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not as much help because he not smart. Bugs are so Gonta in here alone watching bug movie. Huh? Um, what? How did that help? Honest. Bug movie fill Gonta with fight, and make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. I see. Oh, so it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. No. But why is it locked? Huh? What was locked? With my magic. If you don't answer honestly, I will change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? 
Uh, Ganta no become girl. Ganta then Ganta never become gentleman. Himiko, can you just shut up for one second? You're making it harder than it needs to be. Oh my god. All right? Ganta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta. Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no f can fill up with fight. Honest. That's it. Really. Gonta just wants to protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys not gonna believe Gonta, huh? Because Gonta is big and scary looking, huh? Whoa. Calm down. You're making a really scary Don't face. Because Gonta feels so useless. Hmm. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Kayade, let's investigate this room a little bit more. We need to verify Ganta's alibi. Yeah, yeah you're right. Five point one inch speaker. That's very weird. I bet this huge speaker produces some high quality sound. But that's not relevant right now. Facts. I didn't think it would be. Um some books. Video wrap. There's a lot of movies crammed into the bookcase. Uh Oh, The Legend of 1900? I always wanted to see this film. That's... The one with the pianist that has eyes like a, a dead fish, right? Huh? That film won awards for its phenomenal music. U.S. audiences were moved to tears. Really? Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. I mean, yeah, it's not untrue. Huh? What else do they have here? Hmm. I grabbed a movie at random, and the case that was covered with pictures... Or the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. Um, find any movies in there? Nope. We found a pornography. Um, it's fine. Uh, nothing suspicious over here. Um, let's go look somewhere else. Totally. Um, yeah. What happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? That's wrong. I said nothing. There's nothing here but a bunch of movies. I mean movies. Wait. Kayane, you're panicking. It's okay if you found a clue. You can tell me. Here, let me look. Oh no 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 no. No, Shuichi. No, buddy. No, you don't want to do that. You don't. You definitely don't want to do that. I don't want to ruin your innocence. That's not you. You're too innocent for this, okay? No, don't come over here. A couple of minutes later, we were both looking down at the floor with red, beat red faces. Right? I told you. Sorry. Let's investigate somewhere else. No, you're too innocent for that, Chuichi. No, buddy. It's a different video rack. Is this a better video rack? Let's just forget this ever happened and move on. <laughs> okay, so they're the same thing. Um, cool. Oh, we can open the video player. Is the bug movie in there? A video player for watching movies. There's no video inside, though. Uh-oh. This doesn't have anything to do with the case. It does, though, because there's no video inside. It's not right. The projector is turned true. off. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long pull of sorts. Um, so, uh, what? No. I was just thinking uh, that that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> Sometimes you say weird things, Shuichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Uh, okay. Ah, you think so? Sorry. You can treat it as me taking some, or talking to myself. Sliding back door. This door is different from the one we saw used to enter the game room. Um, is this connected to the hallway? Right. It seems that way. Let us check. Yeah. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. I tried to open it, but... Kerchunk. Huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Looks like it wasn't installed right. It can only s I can only stick my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No. No, no. If gone, it if it's gone to, it doesn't matter if the door is stuck. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. That's right. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Don't never do that. Going to not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast is most important meal of any gentleman day. Okay. I agree. Huh? Huh? You think Gonta could eat this door? No. Ah, uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? The dust piled up on the railing of the door. This sliding door has not moved in a while. Hmm. So then, he just forced his way through the gap. Hmm. That's not possible. 
There may be enough space for a baseball to fit through. I guess an arm could fit through as well, but if it were thin enough. It's magic. Then, so then, he probably used magic. That makes you slim to, and keeps the fat off. Wait! Gonta no can use magic. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. Those two never have anything important to say. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suichi? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. Shuichi peeked through the gap in the sliding door. He, he muttered. I knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um, so what? That's... I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it's a little concerning. Concerning how? Oh, I know why. But... We'll let Kaiane figure this out. I think we've investigated everything here, too. Mm -hmm. Then what should we do Great. next? For now, let's ask other, our others some questions. There's still people we haven't talked to yet. That's true! This would have been done if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already would know who the mastermind is. Hmm. That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah, yeah you're right. Would you like to? Yes, I would like to leave. Uh, okay, so Gonta, Himiko, Kaido. So we're missing a couple peeps. Angie. Angie and Tenko. Hi, Tenko. You're right there. How convenient. Uh, oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tempo Tenko about what happened in the game room, but she only confirmed what Maki had told us, and it didn't provide any new information. Mm -hmm. I see. That's right. I knew it. Gonta would have been the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention he's also a male. Hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how is your investigation going? No. I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate male. Hey, degenerate. Don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Huh? Watching Angie. Listen up. We agreed to investigate one with one other person, right? But Angie's been wandering around alone. I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie. Um, I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. Oh, she does not look happy right now. Ugh, degenerate male. Don't act all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. Sorry, that, that wasn't my intention. Where, so Angie's nearby then. I'm gonna go in the library real quick. Oh, I shouldn't be going back to the library yet. Okay, fine. I was gonna try and like move things around. Okay, we're looking for Angie, which is probably over here. Yeah, okay, cool. Hi, Angie. Hey. Hey, you're not gonna investigate, Angie? I... Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua too. Oh, Atua, please let Rantaro enter heaven safe and sound. Hey. I suppose a, a, a prayer couldn't hurt. Mm. Rantaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. It'll be okay. Don't worry. I will pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. Huh? Sounds like a credit card rewards program. So true! Yes, okay. So freaking true. Is that all we had to say to Angie? What? Amen. That was it? Tenko? Besides, it doesn't matter if I suspect Angie or not. It does not change the fact that we agreed to work together for this investigation. I need to find the others that I haven't talked to yet. Who am I missing? We've talked to them. Ah.
right up the stairs. Okay. Because it's talking about this classroom, which... I mean, I guess we haven't talked to them, but they're investigating in the classroom that we were in, so we should probably go double check. <gasps> Kaede Shuichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You were on the lookout in this classroom, right? Yeah. yeah, from here, we could keep an eye on the basement, and it's close to the library, too. Hurrah. That's our alibi. We both were in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. Then the probability, probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time until the other receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I, I understand. Thank you very much. I'm one part of a part of me wonders, in a weird way, if Shuichi. They're going to throw it at us and that Shuichi did it, right? Because he left when the basement thing was going on. What if he murdered in order to, like, kill the mastermind thinking he was, like, doing good? Because we were talking about how he needs to be more confident, how he needs this, that, the other. And what if that directly comes back at us as the main character? Because we told him to be confident, and he finally was confident. He threw a freaking shot put ball at Rantaro, who finally discovered the door opening. So we thought it was the mastermind. Threw the freaking thing, and then freaking killed a man. Uh, I hope not, but I could see that. Lookout classroom has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. Hey. Is that all I wanted? you wanted to ask? Um, oh, may I ask you one question specifically about that vent? By the way, it appears it is connected to this classroom. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's yeah. I was also it was also connected about or concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching this classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we were here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder to, for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory bank. Really? I would... I'll be sure to save that important piece of information to my memory bank. Classroom vent has been added to the truth board section. Thank you very section. much. I hope my line of questioning was not... Or has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Hmm. Kibo, you totally sounded like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Oh, maybe you were a detective or lawyer in a past life. <laughs> a past life? How could I have a past life when I'm not even made of human components? Kyo. <laughs> Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? How'd you know? So. My appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. Uh, at least he's self-aware. So, to briefly state the truth... When the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Oh, yes. The other people there with me were Miu, Kurumi, and Sugumi, or Sumigi. Okay. The mono cubs prepared the meal for me, and it was listed on the menu as pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake, or some such. Mm. That pasta sounds kind of depressing. That concludes my alibi. I do hope that it can be of some help. Hey. And what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, uh, if there's something to note, it would be that Miu was tinkering with some something or other. There was also a brief period where Sugumi left to the, use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Sugumi is the ultimate cosplay. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Uh, um... Someone else, but who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene, in the, or she should be at the crime scene in the library. Kyo's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Which means I have a feeling that... I'll ask those two what they were doing during the body discovery announcement. Oh, we have to ask them another question? Hey, hey Kibo, what were you doing during the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah, my alibi. Uh-oh. Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? Well. No, I am just searching for the right words. 
in all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I have to admit my alibi altogether is uh, not altogether re are altogether reliable. Um. So you don't have an alibi? <gasps> but Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Uh. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Huh? Huh? This thought was not my intention. But I see both Kibo and Ryoma don't have alibis. That means it is possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um, um I am am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No. I don't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Or I won't of course. I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. And I'm not saying it's because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. But you don't need to be so PC. Kibo's account has been added to the monopad. Okay. Putting aside the other thing about Sugmi, now we know everyone's huh? alibi. Huh? What about Kokuichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one would corroborate. Or no one would corroborate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I think. Oh, you're right. So I guess that's why you're not detect or you're a detective and I'm not. Yeah, so now we need to go talk to Sugami in the library. Despair Search is... Oh, is that the name of the song? That might be the name of the song, actually. Okay, now we can enter the library again. Sugami! Um... Hey, Sukumi, I need to ask you something. Um, she looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Okay, but there's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Sukumi's shirt and began to lift it slowly. I'm going to lift your skirt, Sukumi. Are you okay with that? Wait, Kaede. You better talk or I'm going to lift your skirt so as you can see. And then I'm going to tie your skirt around your head so everybody can see your panties. I understand. I understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, took you long enough. Mm. Oh, well, I can't let Suichi's innocent eyes get dirty. Oh, they already did. Don't worry. They, they literally already did. I'm yeah, sorry. Right. Um, yeah, it happened. It's fine. That's wrong. Uh, no, they won't get dirty. Shuichi. Are you saying that you've seen dirtier, Suichi? Oh, bad boy. Okay, anyway, it's What's fine. Wrong? Oh, what do you want to talk about? You know? Um, I was going to cut to the chase. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer... This means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh, oh, so that's what you think of me? Well, since we're in the situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible. I only cosplay fictional characters, and I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, I can't. Um, you can't? Isn't that easy just to wear someone else's clothes in disguise you and... You can't! Cosplay is not a disguise! Huh? S sorry. Yeah. Well, you probably could have a hard time believing me if I just say it, so I'll show um, you. Show me how... Um, Come on, Kaede. Oh, wait. Sumiki grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Um, Are you going to punch me or tie me up? Hey, now. Hey, now. There's no way I would do something like that. Hey. Now hurry up and take your clothes off. Wait, why? Uh, because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? But, but, but. Right? Come on, come on, hurry up! Huh? What? I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Sumigi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited a while as she changed yeah. into my clothes. Okay, now you can look. Huh? A gross, bumpy rash had spread across Sumigi's body. Yeah, what? Play up the spiky hit his underwear of a certain space emperor. This is dog pop, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. Cause pox, what? This is the price for my power, the equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. Interesting. We exchanged our clothes, then returned to the library where Suichi was waiting. 
Is she gonna stay? No, she's not. Okay. What happened? Kayere, what's wrong? S Sumigi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand now since you've seen the cospox, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You breathe life into the characters. It's almost like you're summoning them from fiction into the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But is it impossible to cosplay someone who exists in the real world? Right? Because it's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. I really didn't need that long of an explanation. Oh, wait, what? Is that it? Huh? Wait, this chime. Time for the long-awaited class trial! No, it's not! We're just announcing that the photos are ready! Do not interrupt me! Anyway, I will be waiting in the warehouse! Why does your face look weird? My face look weird to you. My face always looks this weird. So long, farewell. Dude, literally, he is on something every five seconds. I don't understand. Did you hear that, Suichi? The pictures have finally been developed! Let's go! Come on, come on! Wait. Kayere? Oh no. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Oh, we're gonna get, jump straight to the warehouse. Uh-oh. I ran full sprint into the warehouse. What? Wait. Wait, Kayere? You shouldn't get so worked up. Mm. I can't help it. We're so close to learning about the truth. We're going to find out who the mastermind is. Rise and shine, or shine. I have a feeling we're not, though. I have a feeling it's going to be the sh thing that somebody threw the shot put. Hi. Oh, you came. We're intruding. Sh sure did. I came to see you, toots. <laughs> you're so as lovely as always. Oh, Montesquieu, you're such a flirt. Uh, may I join you for a drink? What are you saying? Uh, drink as much as you want. I've got cash to burn. <laughs> Thank you! Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great! Uh, How long are you guys going to do this for? Oh. Take these. Oh. It's all the photos. They're separated and enveloped for each camera. I use them and take those bastards down. It's all up to you yeah. now. You dumbass! Psh, I'm so rich! What's a journalist about to do or uh, going to do about it? Nothing, that's what. By the way, Monofane... Want to get out of here after your shift ends? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. Uh, what's your name and age, home district, and salary? And do you have another job? So long, what the? Out. What is this? That the other were like honestly like. What do you what? Uh, anyway, but it's looks like we have the pictures yeah. now. Finally, we're all here. Oh boy. Um, Kaede. Are those the developed photos? Right? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> <laughs> How exciting! I want to meet. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. All right. All right, let's take a look. Let's look at these photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope says front entrance and has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. <laughs> this is when we arrived at the library, so it took a picture then. Ah. Yeah. It was right before we found Rantaro's body. <laughs> That's a pretty bad picture of me, but <laughs> don't focus on it too much. But of course. Rest assured, we don't care. Mm. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, this is, is this? a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. That doesn't help at all. Hurry up and show the next picture. Okay. It's everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. We got there a little bit late, no. though. Hey, are those pictures when we found the body? Hmm. There's one more photo in the front entrance, correct? Yes. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Huh? Shuichi. Oh. Sorry, it looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was, remo when I was removing the camera. What are you saying? Uh, um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that'll help us either. Hmm. The camera pointed to the front entrance only snapped these four photos. 
entrance photos have been added to the truth bullet section. Neither Rantoro nor anyone else who could have been the culprit are in these photos. Did they both enter through the back door then? Let's examine the photos taken by the camera at the rear entrance then. There are only two photos taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. Let's see the first picture. Okay. Rantaro entering. I knew it. It's and then it's gonna show the shot put ball, so somebody had to throw it outside. I thought it was possible that he moved to the library after he being murdered. But it does not appear to be the case. So that means he was killed in the library after going down there on his own will. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. I think it'll show the ball and that's it. Oh what? This has to be when he was taking the camera down, right? And sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. Yeah. Eh. What an attention hog. Mm. He had no choice to remove the cameras, but he had to be close to the sensor. Gosh. Um. That's all for the rear entrance. Just those two photos. Huh? Culprit in not a rear enter photo either. Why? What does that mean? They're not in either the front or rear entrance photos. I know. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Hey, Shuichi. Don't you think that's weird? Uh, um. Let's look at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Hey. Yeah, the camera should have captured the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hoped, I hoped that that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There was two photos. The first one was... Uh. Rantaro opening the door. Hmm. But if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then... Oh. He must have known about the hidden door. Could it be... Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? Sure. Yeah, that is a possibility. For now, let us see the next picture. The one remaining isn't yeah. there. Yeah, here it is. Shuichi putting the thing away. No, it's not! Huh? What? Hmm? Huh? What's Rantaro doing? No. Looks like he's reaching for the camera. He was trying to remove it. Oh. Uh, I did notice something when, while I was removing the camera. The security sensor of the camera was switched off. If, so. if that's the case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was off. Hmm. But that would mean Rantaro noticed. He saw our hidden camera. By the way. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have been already moved, so why did the sensor activate? I don't get it. Who cares? What when what happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of these photos? Maybe the, the last photo must have been taken shortly before Rantara was killed. However. If so, then the culprit should have been pictured right behind him in this photo. No, because the door's blocking it, I think. I know. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Hidden door photos has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. I know. That's all the photos. So we gain no new clues and we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking waste! Why? Did she really just develop all those photos? Maybe she just got rid of one that showed the culprit. No, she didn't. She has to follow the rules. How rude! I developed all the film that I was given! I swear by my almighty daddy that I did! <laughs> Those are the photos from the hidden camera, so relax and get to the deducing. Don't screw around. Those are seriously all the pictures? You've got to be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how did they kill Rentaro? Uh, so this is why they call it what they call a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Oh, man. I've been slacking off because I thought these photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. By the way. Oh, by the way. Hmm. Rentaro had the monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think there was anything on it? I do not agree. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of per pertinent information. I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply just had his monopad on okay. him. I inspected his monopad, but didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh, oh man. So, it's not... It's got nothing to do with this case. How confusing, uh... Are you okay? Kayede, are you okay? Uh, why why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. <laughs> what why the hell? Uh, um, Kayede. Uh, 
Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. All been waiting for the class trial. Please assemble in front of the shrine of judgment in the courtyard. Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. Oh, that door. Okay. You'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See you all there. Huh? Time already? It seems we have no choice but to continue this discussion at the class trial. <sighs> I don't want to go. What a shame. Me neither. <laughs> ha! What? Are you scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class yeah, trial. That's right. And then everything, including the killing games, will come to an end. That's right. Let's find the mastermind, and if the man- if it's a man, let's beat him to death! Jeez. Isn't beating them to death going a bit too far? Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked toward the courtyard. And that is where we will go in the next episode of Danganronpa 3, V3, Killing Harmony. We will be taking care of the first class trial. Ah! It's going to be like five episodes of stuff, but like, ah! I mean, I'm assuming, but we never know. It could be like four, but I am so thrown for a loop on what could have happened that it's going to be so crazy to figure out what happened. My only logical conclusion is that, unfortunately, Buddy Suichi did it, but hopefully not. Hopefully that's not true, because we don't need an S tier character dying off rip, but it's fine. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you all and hope to see you guys in the next one. See y'all!